2014-04. Staff, if you will please present this item. Yes, sir. We're in the bylaws to business now. Um, this is item number six in your agenda packet. It is a conditional use request by Melanie Ramsey for a daycare center and OP zoning. Um, subject property is located at 500 East Alden Avenue. This is at the northeast corner of Marion and East Alden. Um, as you see on the zoning map on the screen, which is also in your packet, you see the OP zoning that is surrounded on three of its four sides by residential zoning. There would be R10 and R6 um, in the neighborhood that is eastward from there. To the west of the subject property across Marion Street, it is dominated by the commercial zoning and commercial development that is fronting Ashley Street, which is simply one block away. And so in cases, such as the Burger King, which is directly to the west, it is the front yard of these commercial properties that is abutting Marion. Marion itself seems to be the transition zone between the commercial on one side, residential on the other. Many of the uses up and down Marion are a mixture of single family, multifamily offices, and the facts of some of the commercial development. Um, aerial map, you see, of course, the urban forest, you see some of the building pattern. Um, the commercial development along Ashley is going to stick out more in the aerial. Subject property was once in residence yeah. Yeah. many years ago. It was converted to a professional office. Um, this would be the Triad Isotopes business for several years um, located there. It has been fully renovated and converted to office usage uh, right down to the alarm system. Um, it has been sitting empty for a while. It has an existing parking lot, which is seen in the lower right uh, picture on the screen. And the applicant is simply wanting to move in and set up as a daycare center. Because of the OP zoning, um, it requires a conditional use permit. We are requesting up to 18 children, um, which is the maximum that is allowable to be asked for in OP zoning. There is a um, in your packet, I think on page three or four, page four, there are supplemental standards for daycare centers. Uh, one of the requirements is a daycare center with more than 12 children must be located on an arterial or collector road. Uh, we touched on this at the work session. Um, in the early days of discussion, staff was under the impression anyway that Alden Avenue is a collector street here, just like it is on blocks to the west. And to our surprise, it is not. Uh, Moore Street, which is one block to the south, is actually a collector road. Um, so because this borders only local streets, um, a variance would be required in order to have more adult children. That being said, and as noted on your cover page, they are simultaneously requesting a variance to that code requirement from the Zoning Board of Appeals. And that is scheduled to be heard by ZBOA next week. Um, in your packet are the standards for conditional use review, what we call conditional use review criteria. Um, in terms of the location, this being between residential and commercial areas, um, what we call a medium-sized daycare center. Um, in our view, it fits in with a professional office zoning district, and certainly in between residential and commercial usage. If this were a much larger, more commercial type daycare center, we would think differently. Um, the site is large enough, it's on a corner lot, it has good access, it can accommodate this use without much difficulty. Um, so we are recommending approval of this after finding it consistent with the comprehensive plan, subject to four conditions. And there on your first page, I'll go through those. Number one, this conditional use approval shall be granted for a daycare facility with a maximum of 18 children, or is otherwise approved by the Zoning Board of Appeals. For example, if they were to deny the variance, then they would be limited to 12 children. So that is that decision in the hands of CBOA. Number two, in lieu of a buffer yard, install a minimum six-foot solid fence along the eastern property line in accordance with LDR requirements for fencing. And on the zoning map, you have OP development when it is next to residential, a buffer yard is required. This is existing development. Um, on the northern boundary, you can kind of see it in the pictures, looking up the driveway. This is from Alden Avenue, looking up the east side of the property. That north boundary line is a very dense bamboo hedge sort of a solid fence. You cannot see beyond it, but what is beyond it is a multifamily apartment complex. Immediately to the right, and it's not showing very well in this picture, but the edge of the parking lot is just about the edge of the property line. Um, just four or five feet further to the east is the side wall of the existing residence. 
there's really no room there to put a buffer yard without sacrificing the entire parking lot. So what staff has recommended is in lieu of a buffer yard along this eastern boundary, simply put a solid fence. Okay. Number three, either maintain the existing vegetation a solid, solid fence along the northern parking line or replace it with a minimum 10 foot wide transitional buffer with solid fence in accordance with the LDR, such as we talked about. Number four, conditional use approval shall expire after two years if no business license for the proposed facility is applied for by that date. And that's our standard expiration date for conditional uses so they do not linger for many, many years without action. Um, that's staff's recommendation with the conditions. I'll be glad to try and answer any questions that you might have. All right, any questions for the staff? Right, there being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Speak in opposition of this request. Discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. There being none, I will take a motion from the commissioners. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we uh, approve this as recommended with the four conditions listed for the uh, conditional use permit. All right, we have a recommendation. And we have a second. Any discussion on the motion? There being none, all in favor of this request, please do so by raising your right hand. All those opposed have the same right. Uh, uh, okay. All right, the motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Staff, if you 